Welcome my fellow viewers, this is Jason from Jason G Designs. If you've been on Linux for a while, one of the things you might like to do is customize your desktop. Usually you can add a new wallpaper or icons or a new theme. How about instead of creating a new theme, we can create one ourselves. Rather than creating a theme from scratch, we will use the theme generation tool, Themix, to create a theme collection. You might recognize Themix if you use the Umox theme generator, as this is the new Umox. For more on how to install Themix, check out the link in the description. Let's get down to business. The theme collection we will be creating is titled Omnu Champagne. It will be similar to another theme collection I did a while ago, Omnu Ice, but with a different color scheme. First, we can look for a champagne color at rgbcolorcode.com. This deep champagne color looks good. Now we will open Themix. To aid in our creation, we want to pick any theme with a light color scheme. Next, we want to save the current theme with our new theme's title. Back at rgbcolorcode.com, we want to scroll down to the Shades and Tints section, as we will be using some colors from there. From the top of the page, we will copy the main color as our background color and themix. The next shade up is hex code DBBB90. Let's make that our header bar and button background. The very darkest shade, 1F1B15, will be used for everything text related. We can use one of the medium shades, 76B53, for the selected background. This background is used for selections and hover states. Since this design is similar to a previous theme, Omnu Ice, I made the button background the same as the header bar. I made the text dark for contrast, of course. To blend with the header bar, we will make the focus and unfocused border color the same as the header bar. This point is where I will introduce a tool I use very often, the Color Scheme Designer at Palatun.com. We are going to utilize this tool to get the medium colors complement. To do this, we plug the selected background color into the base RGB text box in the Color Scheme Designer. From there, along the top, we click Add Complementary to add this color's opposite to the palette box. Noting the color, we can add it to the accent color in Themix. Next, we will want to change the text box background to something that might match a little better. 
For this, we will use our theme's background color, and in Color Scheme Designer, note the lightest color in the swatches. That will be hex code FFF5E7. We will make this our text box background color. Finally, here comes the fun part, customizing roundness and gradients. I used a roundness of 16 and a gradient of 0.25%. For the icons, we are going back to Color Scheme Designer to once again plug in our theme's background color. This time, we will select the adjacent color setting to get the light pinkish color, FABEA5. Under Icon Set, I think the GNOME color style works with this theme. From there, we want to get the base to dark colors as shown and apply them to the light, medium, and dark colors in ThemeX. Themix also has colors for various X11 applications, including terminals. This part of the tutorial is optional if you use a non-X11 terminal. First, we will use the text color as a background color for matching. For the foreground color, we will use the theme text entry background color. I used a dark color for the black foreground, 404040, and a light color for the highlight, A0A0A0. A0, A0. I will let you, my viewers, figure out how I derive the rest. The key is adjusting the distance value of the various color systems, adjacent, triads, and dyads. Once we are all done with creation, it's time to export the theme. We will use the standard export options, which include a cinnamon desktop theme. First, before exporting, we will remove the umox prefix from in front of the theme name. The theme saves to your home folder in the hidden.themes directory.
We will also replace the generated theme description in index.theme with our own. The theme description will be in the tutorial resources page listed below. For our matching wallpaper design, I found this gorgeous dark image on Pixabay. A link to this image is in the description. To apply the theme, we are going to use Alex Appearance. This application is available for most distros in their official repositories. Additionally, if you are using Openbox like I am, you can use the Openbox Configuration Manager to apply the window theme. By the way, in a future tutorial, we will be changing the look of the window theme. Next, we will change the background to our downloaded image. You can use whatever application manages your wallpapers. I'm using nitrogen here. Let's go back into Themix and export our icons. Since Themix doesn't let us change our icon name before exporting, we can change it after. Icons are stored in your home folder in the .icons folder. Simply remove the umox prefix. In order for the icons to change, you may need to log out and log back in. That's the case on Openbox for me. I actually forgot to change the icons in Alex Appearance. We will fix that, but first the icon name must be changed in the index.theme file as well. After restarting again, here's the final look in GTK3 Widget Factory. This view also shows how client-side decorated windows look. This theme is somewhat done, but as you can see it looks rough around the edges. In the next set of tutorials, we will adjust the look of the GTK, Openbox, and Metastic themes. Following that will be a downloadable for an XFWM window theme. If you like this Linux desktop content and would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. You know how YouTube goes, the more likes a video gets, the more it's seen. Thanks for watching.